And these days, you know, spirituality is so fashionable. Which, of course, is very wonderful because people start reflecting and uh, looking into lives, looking into their lives. But there's another side also, you know, that people tend to uh, see themselves as very spe special and very advanced and maybe sometimes better than other people because they live a spiritual life. So, here we go again, you know, that is can bring again a division uh, and ideas of better, being better, being better, being more advanced. So, recently I have deleted this word altogether. Uh, it's a beautiful wor word, but it is so polluted nowadays. I've deleted the word altogether. So this awakening is coming to normalcy, is coming to naturalness, being natural, being simple, be and participating in life, no longer avoiding life, you know. Oh, I'm a meditator, I'm a meditator, I'm so much meditating. Well, maybe, and maybe you're just avoiding something in life and you see yourself oh, bo, 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 bo. I'm so advanced I'm such a meditator so look at these issues you know look with this naked eye of truth is there anything that I'm avoiding is there anything that I'm protecting do I really participate Being open. Is there anything that I need to defend? Is there anything that I need to clarify? Do I still have a need to be understood? Do I still have a need to be loved? Or do I live love? Do I still need to be somebody? Do we still need credit and compliments? Or can I live my life participating and no longer needy? But that this life, made of life, is a service to the world. No longer needy, but fulfilled. No longer needing to be somebody. No longer needing to be special. But living the freedom of realizing I am nobody. I do no longer need to be anybody in particular. This life is free.